There's a lot of rewards in the uh, growing of animals and plants. I think you're uh, very close to God's creations. You know, it's just a special place to be. Long before sunup to way past sundown, American farmers work hard to produce and provide. There is a very core part of your being, and I think it's being in farm country. But farm country is constantly changing, creating many challenges. It's really a, like waking up and going to the casino every morning. It's very risky business. But profitable new opportunities can help improve the odds for farmers. It's really a puzzle. It's really the, the fun and excitement of cracking that code. Here to help agribusiness leaders crack the code is FPPC. Over the past 50 years, agriculture has evolved tremendously. To keep up with increased worldwide consumer demand, farms have had to become highly automated and specialized. Increased animal production on less land has resulted in more manure and closer scrutiny of management practices. I think farm producers and some of the larger integrators continue to look at manure as purely as a waste product and not only um, from the sense of a disposal but as something that they want to spend the least amount of time on it and, and if possible ignore. But stricter government regulations and increased environmental concerns for water and air quality cannot be ignored. In 2002, FPPC was chartered by Congress to find innovative and viable technologies for agriculture's growing manure management issue. Farmers want to do the right thing. They want to be stewards. They want, they want this problem solved. FPPC has overseen 45 demonstration projects in 19 states. Projects are conducted on site, meet federal, state, and local requirements, and utilize waste as a renewable resource. A great example of success, unlimited renewables in Lake Mills, Wisconsin. This is a chicken farm that has roughly a million egg-laying chickens and they generate about 20,000 tons of raw manure every year. When nutrient levels in nearby fields become too high, land application of manure is no longer an option, and storing the manure poses an environmental risk. And that's when we started looking into the market on could we create a product, a value-added product, that would create a different market. The result, an organic fertilizer produced from poultry waste, one that can compete with commercially synthetic fertilizers. Economically, we could send the manure in the same direction as the main product. With FPPC's help, we've been able to get that product. FPPC helped set up the company's in-vessel technology, which composts both manure and daily mortalities. A profitable product is created, the farm does not have to pay to remove waste, and excess nutrients can be marketed beyond adjacent cropland. We're going on our third year of a confined animal feeding operation that's had no spreading of raw manure. Well, that's never existed in the state of Wisconsin. So you take pride in that. Pride for the farm, promise for the future. Down in South Carolina, farm owner Mark Marsh has discovered the power of greener pastures. This is a 185-acre poultry and turf grass farm. And he's turning it into green energy. Our main business is hatching eggs and pullets. In the past, we've always uh, had a manure broker that would come and clean out the barns for the manure. Uh, no money would change hands for us. When Mark wanted more than an even exchange for his chicken litter, he consulted FPPC. The result, electricity generated from poultry litter. We have it basically in an on-farm manure spreader that delivers the manure to a conveyor. Then the conveyor drops it into a gasifier, and we can create enough heat to heat water that will turn a turbine, which will run a generator. The energy is then sold to the local power company, offsetting the farm's energy costs. Over the last 10 years, our power particular has gone up about 30 percent. 
And so this has been a, a big deal for us to be able to minimize our electrical cost. On a dairy farm in northern Florida, FPPC designed a solid separation system to treat its wet waste stream. Through a three-step process, solid particles are separated from the liquid. During the final stage, ferric sulfate is added, allowing solids to rise to the top. The clear water then exits the bottom of the chemical separator. With an improved three-step separation process, the nutrient-rich solids are much lighter and can be transported off the farm at less expense. The treated effluent remaining on the farm has fewer nutrients, allowing the clear water to be recycled. We're very environmentally conscious. We'd like to leave this farm in better shape than it was when we got here when we leave. Renewable resources, the beginning of endless possibilities. I mean, we're really excited about that next step and how that's going to be uh, the evolution of where we're headed. FPPC, with you when you need answers, with you as your business grows.